Hi, it's Irel, and welcome to the Chef Coach channel. I am both a chef and a coach with a degree in culinary and an ISSA certification. I share easy and beginner-friendly recipes and workouts. Welcome to Cheap, Easy, and Delicious Meal Series, where we cook family dinners for less than $20. In this video, we're going to make gochujang beef and cabbage. This is the price breakdown for this specific recipe. The total for the whole meal is $11.61 and for 4 servings is $2.09. So let's get cooked. Full recipe will be down below in the description box. Cut 1 medium head of onion into small dice. So now we're going to julienne those carrots. And if you want a different tutorial video on knife cuts, go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you're interested in that. Stay tuned at the end of the video for a short behind the scenes video. We're gonna get a quarter of one head of green cabbage and we are going to shred that. You can also just buy the carrots onions, cabbage, and garlic already pre-cut, but I just prefer cutting my own. We're gonna get four slices of bacon and cut it into strips. Now we get our meat in bulk from Florida Cattle Ranchers. I will post the link down below of their association and websites. We definitely cannot forget the gochujang paste. You can get this at any Asian store or at Walmart. Once your pan is hot, go ahead and add your bacon strips. I just wanted to remind you to make sure that you have the notification bell on for my channel so that way you don't miss my next recipe. When the bacon is halfway cooked, you want to add the onions. You want your heat around medium to medium high. Once the onions are translucent, you can add in the carrots. You want to make sure you mix this around so that way the veggies don't stick to the pan. Before we keep on going, go ahead and click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. As soon as the onions start to caramelize, you want to add in the beef, mix it up, get it brown, and as soon as it, it is cooked all the way, you want to add in the shredded cabbage, mix that. Once the cabbage is bolted, you want to add the two tablespoons of gochujang. You can add a couple tablespoons of water to get it loose. Once the gochujang has completely coated all the ingredients, cover the pan, put the heat on low, and let this sit for at least one or two minutes. The way we served it is with rice and fried egg on top. This dish is super savory and a little bit of spice on it. It's really dangerously good. You'll want to keep eating more especially with that fried over easy egg it's just chef's kiss for sure be the kids next time